Hi there, my name is Johnny Collins. I'm gonna show you today about how to change an engine on a Yamaha RXS 100. These were all the same bikes from when they started production, I think it was about 1984, all the way through to 1996. So this is the little bike here. Although it's a flat tracker style bike, it's all exactly the same as doing it on the bog standard bike. And this here is the engine we're gonna look at putting in. First things first, get the bike nice and stable. And I like to put it on axle stands, which go just underneath the footrests, like so. So there we go, that's step one for you, get it up on the air. Step two is get a bit of space, so we'll look at taking the fuel tank off and just kind of removing a few bits and bobs, which will give us a little bit of better access. Okay, here we go. First of all, we're gonna get the fuel tank off. That's held in with a bolt, which is down here. But on the standard bike with a normal seat, you'll have to take the seat off which is uh, held on by two M8 bolts there. I've already done the bolt just to speed things up and I've just slackened the, uh, the fuel line off the carburetor as well. So that's now ready just to come off. There we go. Put that somewhere safe. We don't want that to get scratched. Next thing is you might as well disconnect the, uh, the little yips bottle thing, whatever it's called. Nice and easily done there with a pair of pipe pliers pinch that little clip give that a pull disconnect the uh, carburetor slide from the top of the car and we will then take off from here the uh, the cable which operates the oil pump as well so you can see that you've got to get the right tools for the job get a little tub for your nuts, bolts and screws. Some people will need to label up where things go, but I've done a good number of these over the years, so there's no need for me to do that. There's a little clip there, which just holds the cable in place for the oil injection, but once you've done that, you can just undo the little wire for the oil injection just there. We're going to get a 10 mil spanner on the on the little nut there for undoing the oil injection cable and then i'm going to undo the rev counter drive there which with the, which is with a screw as well right so i've undone the oil uh the oil pump cable there and i've undone the rev counter cable from there as well next thing we're going to take off the carburetor we need to undo the two screws either side for holding that onto the little uh, block where the reed valve sits and undo these two as well and also just undo this little pump which is the oil feed pipe for the oil injection uh, then that carburetor will come straight off next thing uh, after that will be the exhaust I'll tell you what let's just get on straight with the exhaust now actually whilst you're here so uh, what we'll do is we'll get the old socket on the headers there hopefully nobody's chewed up your header bolts previously there's nothing worse than when that's happened to be honest i've messed around with this engine before this bike so i'll have always put um copper slip grease on bolts so they come off um, there is underneath here a little bolt which holds the exhaust on don't forget to undo that one it's a 12 millimeter socket an m8 thread so 12 mil if it's a standard Japanese nut. If someone's replaced it, it might be a, a 13 mil socket. Once you've undone that, that's just going to come off. There is it. Another thread or two. There it is. This is looking a little bit more loose. You'll find it a whole lot easier at that point than to just undo the, uh, the exhaust from here. Trying to undo it with one, arc, one hand there, and then you'll see the whole exhaust becomes loose. Just to save me dropping that and making a right mess of it, let me put the GoPro down. There we go. Off with the exhaust. That can just be threaded out nicely. Bit of a turn around. You can see we're getting a lot more access to it now. Right, I've slackened the. Uh, I've slackened the 
the little uh, Jubilee clip there and there and taking this little hose off here which supplies the <coughs> the engine with two stroke oil. Be careful with these hoses folks, just, just grab hold of them with a set of pliers and rip them to bits. Just take a little bit of time because you don't want it damaged, it's very important to supply good, en good oil to the engine. Okay, so to take the carburetor off once the Jubilee clips have been undone, basically just grab hold of it with both hands and pull it back. <coughs> It'll pop out like that, just give it a little wiggle, and out she comes. Put her in a container. So we're getting there quite nicely now. Just undo the HT lead from the spark plug. And uh, yeah, we're basically getting, getting pretty close. We've got to undo the pipe here, the oil supply uh, pipe to the pump and that comes from the oil bottle here okay I thought I'd just show you about removing this oil bottle really so um, swing it out there is a connect connector here just undo the connector pull it out um, and actually I think really to make it easier is to just pull the top of it away and then to pour the contents of the oil con of the oil container into a into a jug here that way you're not risking getting it all over your workshop floor make sure you've got plenty, a bigger a big enough jug for this no point in running out of uh, space there we go that's about drained won't get much more than that out of it and then you can just undo the oil pipe from here Rather than getting a pair of pliers and pulling it, you're better off just easing it, just getting a screwdriver underneath the bottom of the pipe and just gradually pushing it off. There we go. That's nice and easy. And uh, because this is empty, you can just put that out the way. There we go, we're doing really well. Um, as we're around this side, there's not much to disconnect around here because the uh, the gear linkage is all attached to the engine. The only thing we've got around here is the clutch cable and the clutch. So you're actually as well disconnecting it from the handlebar clutch lever itself. So I'll do that in a moment. Okay, so I just undid the clutch cable from up at the handlebar. Next thing to do is to get the uh, engine bolts out. There's three engine bolts on the little RXS. There is uh, an M12, uh, sorry, an M8, which is again a 12mm socket at the front here. A bit tight this one. There we go. It's coming out there. Um, I won't bother letting you watch me undo every single nut and bolt. It's a bit boring for you. There's a 14mm socket. I don't know if you can see it. Just there. Uh, not socket, even a bolt. 14mm bolt just there. Um, so we'll get the old the old socket on that there, no problem at all. That comes out from the right hand side. Underneath here, underneath here, you will see we've got two bolts. We've got, well, we've got a bolt on the left there and that holds the footrest on and you'll see there's a thread coming out on the right. We need to slacken this one on the left, that's a 12 mil socket. And then we need to go around the other side and we need to slacken the same one, the back one. And that will that will allow the footrest to rotate out of the way when we remove the engine. And then we'll remove this bolt from the left hand side, and it's a 14 millimeter socket to do that. Okay, so around the other side of the bike, then uh, that's the front engine bolt I mentioned to you before. Uh, the rear engine bolt, the one which has beat the, the high one, it's actually behind the casing here. And if I just point to it with a screwdriver you'll probably just about see the thread there so you're going to need to put your spanner in here just to hold that nut when you undo it and again underneath we've got the back one which needs slackening and the front one which needs withdrawing next thing to do though before we actually get those fully extracted is to remove the chain if you want to remove the, the sprocket off the front of the engine which is behind here you should take this casing off and do it now because once it's out of the, the frame, the engine, it's just, just a bit more tricky. So we're going to find the split link. Here it is. And we're going to undo the split link, which is nice and straightforward. No problem at all. Just give that a little squeeze like that. 
and then out she will come. There we go. A little bit fiddly doing it with one hand when you're trying to operate a GoPro, but there we go, undo that outer plate there, and then push it through. There we go, chain off, no problem. So back to the engine bolts, you might just have to lift the top of the engine on the fins slightly and then just give it a riddle. But there you go, that comes out nicely greased from last time this one was out. Um, the bolt which is down there, that will push out, hopefully, there you go. And if I just run round the other side here, I can then pull that one out. Oop, there we go, dropped it on the floor, pull that one out there. And then back round this side need to get the old socket on it it's a uh, 14 mil socket let me get that on undo there we go sometimes these ones can be really tight because they go through the bottom of the engine which is alloy and the bolts are steel and you get bad corrosion between alloy and steel okay so this is now finger tight nope nearly finger tight come on little one there we go and here she comes, out she comes, no problem. And down there. So the engine is now ready to come out. You won't be able to get it out until we take it off the axle stands and we, ro rotate, the, uh, we rotate the foot rests down a little bit. So I'll come back to you in a moment and we'll do that. Okay, so I've dropped her on the stand, uh, off the axle stands. It's just sitting on this one just, just to keep it squared up a little bit just for the next thing. Don't forget to undo your electrics. So just tie it, just trace up the little wiring loom to the top. Find your plug. There's a red and white wire, black and red, and then a block connector. And then once you've found all them, undo it, thread it round, and bring them out of the way. So hopefully she's now ready to come out. So sitting above the motorcycle, I uh, can just move the axle stand out of the way, rotate the the uh, foot rests kind of like a closed throttle direction like that and then grab hold of a bit of engine give it a pull and there she is on her way out so there we go that's the engine out of the rxs even with me just videoing that it really hasn't taken me long at all it's probably only taken about, it's probably only taken me half an hour, 40 minutes, but I've done a few of them. And obviously I've got no snags, no, no uh, corroded bolts or anything like that. I'll go through the putting it back in process in a few minutes, but what I'll say to you is please make sure you use the right socket sizes, good fitting screwdrivers, anything like that. Take your time, nothing worse than rounded bolts. Do a good quality job so i'm going to take this bike outside actually and just give it a bit of a clean round here um make sure it's all tidied up ready for taking the uh the other engine back to you in a few minutes 